Hello everyone, I'm here today with a very quick video and I thought I would show you something um, a little different in my collection. I'm going to show you some of my, I call them my tiny dolls and they're made um, of different uh, things but I just wanted to show you them because I don't think you have ever seen them before. Right here, this was given to me um, as a gift by my best friend and it's a little porcelain BJD doll, they call them ball jointed dolls. And he's about, I think he's five inches when he's stretched out. And he's completely porcelain and completely jointed, as you can see. See his little joints in his hands, or his wrists. And he's sweet. I named him Mikkel. And he has glass blue eyes and big long eyelashes, as you can see. And he actually to me resembles a Cupid doll, but he is not a Cupid doll. He's a BJD from um, the Asian countries. And he's white porcelain and see the back of his head, that's where his head comes together, that seam on his head. He's really sweet, I have a few different outfits for him and he's very poseable like I said. I named him Mikkel. And it was from my dear friend Marilyn as a gift one year she gave him to me. And there he is. He says, hi. I'm a tiny little fella. He's really sweet. And his body is, like I said, full. Let me see if I can set him down. I'm going to be careful with him. I don't want to break him. He's full porcelain. And he's fully jointed. His um, wrist, legs, head, elbows are all jointed and move. And I put him in. This is a little um, cradle from the little... Behringer babies that are about the same um, size as sandwich are about five inches. So I just got him this crib and used their crib and he has a little his own little rattle here. Well it doesn't yeah it rattles. You know with his rattle. And he has a bottle in here somewhere. What happened to your bottle, baby? Oh, he had a little tiny bottle, but he must have lost dropped it somewhere along the way. And then he has this little plastic puppy toy. That's his puppy. He can hold his puppy. See? There he holds his puppy. He's really cute and sweet and he's special to me because he's from my best friend. And then over here I'm going to show you this little monkey girl. You might, Some of y'all might recognize her. She's from Ashton Drake. And I think her head and limbs are clay and, she, and her body is stuffed. She's got a soft body. And the, one of the cutest things about her, these are sh baby shoes. They're the tiniest little baby shoes with a tie and a butt uh, and a button with a tie and a um, bell. Can't talk today. And they actually come off and go back on her feet just like real baby shoes. And she's cute. She's got her little tongue sticking out there. You can see that. And her hair sticking up, and she is quite chunky, as you can see. I thought about maybe taking a little bit of stuffing out of her, but I haven't ever done that. And here's her little arms, and she's, like I said, she is clay, and she's got hair um, glued in, I think. But she's really cute, and she's got black eyes, glass eyes there. I named her Sweetie, and I got this crib for her. It's a dollhouse, like a dollhouse crib. And she actually came with this hat, but I think she's much cuter without her hat on, so I take her hat off. And one of my other dolly friends gave me this little bear for my tiny baby, so she holds that bear in her crib. And so there she is, sweetie, little monkey in her crib. And Ash and Drake, I believe, still sells these because I got it off eBay. Got her off eBay if you want something. I think they sell a boy version of her, too. And it says Mama's Little Monkey on her shirt. And there's her and there's Mikkel. And this one I'm going to show you is very unusual twins. These are completely a clay sculpture. Heavy little twins. This is made by Chinza Dolls. And she has discontinued, I believe she's discontinued this. There is no more of these available. But I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure there's no more available because she had made only a certain amount. And she actually, Chins the Sculptor, actually helped me name them because I asked her. And 
if you can see, there's two babies here. Conjoined twin cats. See their faces, kittens, and your boys. And like I said, Chinza helped me name them. Ask her Italian name that would fit them. And they're come si and come sa, which means this and that. So there they go. And I painted them. They came to me as a blank sculpture unpainted. And I painted them after my cat. So I'm going to show you their details. She sculpted an extra tail on them. So they have two tails. So they're very um, one of a kind. I believe she only did this one baby like this. Twins. And here's the bottom. Look how detailed they are. They're beautiful. Look at the bottom of their toes and their feet. See? You can see the pads of their feet. And there's her stamp showing that she made them right here. It says Chinza Dolls. I don't know if it's coming up too great, but that's a stamp right where my finger's at. And that's into the into the um, clay. Here's the other feet. And can you see how detailed that is? You see every hair is etched on there. It's amazing. When I got the sculpt, I was so amazed. Because look, every hair is etched onto the sculpt. You see that? And there's two other foots. I painted them and she sent them with this really cute collar with the bell on it. And they are boys, so it's blue. Here's their face. There's one face here. Their eye, and there's their ear flap, their ear. There's his mouth. That's Kamsa right here that you're looking at. Kamsi is over here. There's his mouth and little nose, and there's his eye. His eyes, if their eyes are closed. And he's quite heavy. They're quite heavy, these ones, because they're solid clay sculpture and I did make them a crib I'm still working on how to paint it it's a little white wooden crib that I've made them but I'm still working on that so once I complete it I will show it to you and put them in it and look how they're standing look like they're getting ready to run and I just wanted to show you these are chins this sculpture was made by conjoined twin cats kittens was made by chinza dolls and she's a lovely lady and person to work with. She's very kind, very sweet, has a big heart. So here she, they are, and she, like I said, Chinza, help me name them, come see and come saw. Come see is the first one you see here. And this is come saw. means this and that in Italian, and hopefully I'm saying that correctly. If I'm not, to anyone that knows Italian, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll try my best to say that. So I just want to show you these, my little babies. I call these my little babies. There's come see, come saw, my twins, kittens. Here's Mikkel, my porcelain baby boy. And here's Sweetie, my monkey girl. Just want to give you all a little bit, show you all a little bit different babies today. So I hope all of y'all are well and blessed. And again, I appreciate all y'all's support. I appreciate y'all's views. And I love your comments and suggestions. I am, I'll mention it really quick. I'm doing a reborn giveaway. And once I reach 300 subscribers, I will give a baby, a reborn baby away that I have painted myself. And once I reach 100 subscribers, I will bring the kits out and I'll let y'all choose and vote which um, kit you would like me to reborn. So, Mikhail says, bye, bye. He's so happy that y'all got to see him today because he doesn't get much attention. And like I said, I hope y'all are blessed and having a beautiful day. And I will be back on tomorrow with a different video. I just wanted to give y'all something a little bit different than usual today. Something kind of unique. So I'll show you my little tiny babies. And I will speak with y'all tomorrow. And until then, you're my thoughts and prayers. Talk to you soon.